All right, here I am again playing with transistors, um, and I'm finding out some pretty cool stuff with which I never knew before. Uh, one being the the very low voltage that they can actually switch at, which is a lot lower than half a volt, and pairing them up or putting them in series in like a Darlington series, it, it actually uh, amplifies it the current very well, you know. Um, you can basically add as many as you want. Um, but what I've done here is I basically uh, I built a little circuit. It's, uh, it's just a Darlington quadruplet, I guess you call it. It's just four NPN transistors all, all hooked together um, with their collectors tied together and their the base current being amplified uh, from each one and I have it right now I just have it hooked up to a uh, phone adapter until I can get a better power supply for it but I mean this has got to be uh, the simplest oscillator to make if you want to call it that um, it's just the four transistors, that's it. I have a resistor on there too, but the only thing that's inside this tin right here is four transistors, that's it. Now, as you can see, uh, the, tran the, the way that the Darlington has amplified the uh, current, um, it's amplified it so much that I just have to slightly touch the case. I have my uh, I have the base attached to this tin, this metal case right here, so uh, that helps really, it works as an antenna almost, and uh, it just takes the slightest touch from my finger to switch the transistor to cut circuit on. So basically when I pick it up it'll light and when I put it down it'll go off. Um, one of the bulbs is not lighting right now. Once it's acting funny, but whatever. I don't know. I don't really care about that. But uh, what I also wanted to mention was I noticed that for whatever reason, uh, at times I can statically turn on the uh, the circuit from a from a good distance. Uh, I guess the longer I sit, it seems like the longer I sit here, the longer my body builds up a static charge. Uh, I maybe from rubbing my feet on the carpet or sitting in this chair I'm sitting in. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, every so often it'll get to the point where it'll just start oscillating on its own. And it, it was doing that when I first started recording this video. You can see it was it was uh, blinking on its own, and now it's not. So I'm not really too sure. Uh, of what is causing that at the moment there's some type of uh... there goes again what? yep there goes again okay so now i guess my body has built up enough charge where you can see i'm not even touching it anymore and i can basically kick start it on and off now i'm doing it from a distance now just by touching the chair See it go out, go out and come back on. Now it's blinking. If you look close, I guess this camera is not going to pick it up but it's blinking at a low frequency around 7 hertz is what it looks like to me it looks like my body frequency or the earth's frequency whatever I don't know what it is but it's the uh, the rate at which the static current is traveling into the into this receiver right here so if I touch it if I touch it it'll go out so I, I just killed whatever vortex was going on I killed whatever invisible static coherence was going on right here and it's slowly coming back 
You know, I got this little Harry Potter effect going. <laughs> you know, so I built back up the static coherence. Now, if I touch it again, okay, I killed it again. See, it has to build back up. Now it won't light until I touch it. So, I don't know, I, I, I thought that was very, very cool. And I'm going to keep playing with this. Uh, try to figure out some more things I can do with it. But to repeat, this is just four transistors um, doing what they're supposed to do amplifying each other and it's becoming so sensitive that it's picking up my own static energy and you see it just I've just built up enough again already to uh like to to uh switch the trannies from a distance I don't know I think that's pretty cool uh, I've, I've, I've so far I've actually uh been able to manipulate uh the LEDs from about a foot away so I thought that was cool. I'm going to keep trying different things and uh, see what I can come up with. But I guess that's all I have to show for now. Little touch, touch activated LEDs. All right.